Hello and welcome to the Foundry's Furnace Core Tutorials for Final Cut Pro. Match Grid matches the colours of one clip with those of another, in effect copying the histograms and performing a colour correction. It is often necessary to match the colours of one clip with those of another. For example, when filming outside at different times of the day, you will inevitably get the colour and luminance differences that will have to be corrected if the sequences are to be composited or edited together. Now, Match Grid is best used on two clips of the same scene, shot at different times of the day, or when the scene lighting has been altered. You can, of course, use colour correction tools and a little bit of trial and error to try and match the clips, but this tends to be very time consuming and requires some considerable skill. The Match Grid node is solved for you by automatically modifying the colour histograms of the origin image to match the target image. In effect, saving you a lot of time and hard work. Before you start the tutorial, you should actually download the relevant scripts and image sequences from the Foundry website. Once you have done this, we can begin. When you open the actual Match Grid script, you should find two image sequences. You should find the Noisy B-Boy color corrected and the Noisy B-Boy uncolor corrected. If you just play through our Noisy B-Boy uncolor corrected, you can see we have a shot here. I'm just going to drag this to the timeline. And then I'm just going to click on the noise color corrected. Now, these two shots were of the same scene, but were filmed on different days. And the shot on the right here was actually filmed on the second day, and the film on the left here was shot on the first day. Now, in between the timing of the two shots being recorded, the lighting was inadvertently changed. So, as these shots have to be actually composited and edited together, what we need to do is try and color correct these very quickly and easily. So to do this, I'm actually going to be using the Furnace Core Match Grid node. And all I need to do is pick this up out of our Furnace Core toolset and drag and drop this onto our sequence. Now to actually get the controls of this, we need to go into the Filters tab. Once you get access to the parameters of the actual Match Grid node, you'll see it has a target well. Now this will take a sample of the histograms of the actual color corrected image and try to match them to the uncolor corrected them closely. So what we need to do is click on our color corrector sequence where we're happy with the colors and drag and drop them onto our target. Now the match will not actually take the sample of this target image and match them to our histograms of the uncolor corrected. Let's have a look at how the two compare. We have the original sequence. Let's go back to the other one. And this is how it comes out through the actual match grid node. We're just going to compare our original sequence for the color corrected with our match grid node. So this is the color sequence where the director is happy with it, and this is the one that has gone through our actual match grid node. So let's get a render of this and we can see the results. Press play now. We can see that actually the color corrected the image quite well and the histogram matches are quite close. However, there's a slight difference between the two, and we can actually fix this in Final Cut. Now, to increase the actual match of the histograms, what we can do is change the iterations parameter. Now, the iterations parameter actually increase or decrease the number of refinement passes that node actually complete. So, the higher the number, the longer the render time, so it's computation expensive. Now, this parameter actually increases the accuracy of the color correction and the histogram match. For this actual clip, I think the iteration parameter level set to 11 will do a good job for us, and it will contain an accurate match and include a trade-off between the render times. So what we can do now is press render and view the results. If you view the render now, we can see we've actually done quite a good job at matching the histogram levels very quickly and very easily, simply by increasing the iterations parameter. So we use the match grid node to save us a lot of time and a lot of effort. So instead of actually using the color correction levels and matching them by eye, which takes a lot of skill, we've actually saved a lot of time and a lot of effort by using the match grid toolset. For more information on match grid, please refer back to the Furnace Core manual.